Good morning. Normally you see us on the boat, on the water, but today it is on dry land, on the trailer, because we are heading to Steenhatchee to go scalloping. My family used to do this every year, but we haven't done it in about six years, so we are all very excited. So wish us luck. I will see you guys in Steenhatchee. everyone so we are now on the Steenhatchee River and if you guys don't know where Steenhatchee is it's right here kind of like in the armpit of Florida so we are taking about like a 40 45 minute cruise down the river from where we're staying to the mouth of where it's gonna open up into the Gulf of Mexico and we are ready to go scalloping we got the whole family everybody ready we're yeah. ready Get it. This is our first time ever actually bringing our boat here. In the past when we came here, we either rented a boat or went on with a guide. So it's pretty exciting that we actually have our boat here with us. We're all ready for a fun day on the water, so we will see you out there. Well, we talked to some people last night who kind of suggested an area for us to go. And we just got to like a shallow spot, so I slowed the boat down. The depth finder sang six foot, but it kind of looks less than six feet, and everyone's like, there's one, there's one, so I think we might start here. But this is what it looks like. So you got a lot of sandy patches and then tons of seagrass. Look, look, look. Look right there. Oh, he's big. It's not six feet, because you're standing. Do we have to put our motor up here? Sand Fisher jumped in because he saw a sand dollar. This is another one. Oh, Fisher, catch this. Catch this scallop. Should I be the first Should person to catch a scallop yeah. with yeah. his pose? But I think that was a dead scallop. Is, is it dead or is it alive? No. Oh, Gabby, look at its eyes. Oh, it's a oh, baby. Look at him, yeah. That's a small one, isn't it? Yeah. Should we oh, show yeah, people the, so the can trick? Your first scallop. What do you think? <laughs> He's cute. <laughs> so this is a dead sand dollar. Live sand dollars are like black, like gray. This is a dead sand dollar. He looks big. Here, put oh. it on the can. Yeah, dude, he's perfect. Yeah? Yeah. Judge, so tell us about the um, can trick. All right, so we're not trying to keep small ones. So the can trick is if it doesn't touch the rim, let it swim. And if it's the size of the can, put it in the pan. It touches all the sides of the can, so going in the bag. First of many today. So scallops have a white side and a dark side. They normally sit like this, so they're kind of camouflaged in. Occasionally you'll see one on the white side, but they're usually like this, so they're a little cam camouflaged in, so you gotta kind of look for them. Okay, got to be good luck on your first scallop mission. Thank you. We have found the spot that we're going to start at. We threw the anchor. Everyone's in the water. Vic and I are about to jump in. The sun just finally came out for a little bit, but it's a very cloudy day. So you want the sun to be shining to be able to easily see them. So when it's a little overcast, it's a little bit harder, but I think we're going to get it done. The wind is blowing. I finally found my first scallop of the day! Look at him! <laughs> you gotta be careful not to get your finger in there. And when I picked him up, I always got my finger in there because look at him close. <laughs> got one! <laughs> One, huh? Yeah, it is. That's my first time catching one. It was kind of spooky. Was he out and about, or was uh, he? Like, he was just—he didn't really have a hole. He was kind of in just like a little, like a dimple in the sand. He just kind of backed up into it. Dude, that claw is huge. I know. It, he was I'm glad he didn't have. To, I don't know if I would have grabbed him if he had two. The massive claw. Brooke, check this out. Chris caught a stone crab. I don't know if maybe someone harvested his other claw because he don't, only has one, but. Pretty cool. Thank <laughs> you. 
Very cool. Behind the boat? Yeah, I think uh, so. I saw one of those like weird arrowhead type crabs. like a big flounder. It was uh, hanging out there for a long time and I thought I was going to be able to put my hand under him and I've never seen a fish swim faster. That was cool. Cool? I just got another double. This is a good area. Do you see anything cool? Uh, I oh. saw Fisher's flounder. It was I, really big. I saw the same. Well, I saw a flounder like this big. No, Fisher saw a big flounder. Really? Yeah. Easily 16 inches. Oh, we found it. How many did you get, Dad? I only got seven. Seven? Seven. I didn't teach I him. I told your dad this morning, open your eyeballs. He hasn't opened his eyeballs yet. <laughs> Fisher, how about you? 25. Gabby? 12. 
No rhyme or reason. Sometimes you found them on the edge. Sometimes I'd find them in the middle of nowhere and sometimes you're going from a sandy edge and you're going over acres of grass and then you find them and you find like four in a row and you don't find them for another 15 minutes. Yeah, I found strange. no rhyme or reason. I couldn't see them in the grass, but that thin needle grass, that's yeah. where I could see them. So I tried to stay in the needle grass. I thought I was going to reward myself. You know when you, you try extra hard and you're looking, I was like, brushing through the grass like this, keep thinking I'm gonna find him and I never find him. See, I did that a couple times. A couple times I like dove down and like kind of put my face really close to the um, the seagrass and then I found a couple like that. But then sometimes I found them in the sand, sometimes I found them in like the needle grass, sometimes I found them in the turtle grass. What I saw. Five, six, seven. Hey, 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 hey. What? That's a little one. This one is pretty small. That's not mine. You just threw it in. <laughs> Eight, nine. I threw one back. Ten. And nineteen. Look over and you'll see twenty. Dad, do you think he's too small? Adios, amigo. Now you're at nineteen. <laughs> So we kind of made a big circle around the boat, picking up all the scallops around here. So we're gonna pull anchor, move spots. So it is the perfect opportunity for a little element break, get those electrolytes back in our bodies, have a little lunch. And that is where today's video sponsor comes in. So let me tell you guys a little bit about Element. So Element is a tasty electrolyte drink mix with everything you need and nothing that you don't. It can help prevent and eliminate headaches, muscle cramps, fatigue, and other common symptoms of electrolyte deficiency without all the added junk. That means no sugar, no coloring, no artificial ingredients, no gluten and no fillers. I used to be one of those people who never drank enough water and suffered from dehydration headaches. But since finding Element back in January and implementing it into my pretty active lifestyle, I no longer suffer from those headaches anymore. So whether I'm on the boat fishing or like today diving all day, in the backyard mowing the lawn in the hot sun, or going to the gym, Element helps me feel my best. So if you guys are interested in trying out Element, right now they are offering you a free sample pack with any purchase. All you have to do is go to drinkelement.com slash brookchrist, or I will have a link in the video description. Click on that, go there, get your free sample pack with any purchase, and you can try all eight delicious flavors. Now let's get back to scalloping and mix up an Element. And you want watermelon, Dad? Please. There you go. Okay. And I'm gonna go with raspberry, my favorite one. Easy as that. Turn plain tasting water into tasty watermelon water. It's a nice orange one. <laughs> so we've gotten two orange ones out of what? Probably a hundred scallop shells? Jed, my today. first one was orange. Really? Yep. So no gun. What? I had 22. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Mom, how many? 14. Nice. What? 14. <laughs> we are a pretty competitive family, so everyone keeps track of how many that they catch so that we can see who does the best. So.
got that one on film, but this one was literally just swimming. I didn't even go to grab it yet, and it was just swimming towards me, and that's how I found that one. That was cool. and they were all sitting right in the sand. I'm not exactly sure yet on the first one back to the boat, but I got 27 on that dive. I think it's gonna be pretty hard to beat. So now I'm at 27, 22, 49. So I have 49 and my dad goes, Brooke, how many do you have? And I said, 27. He said, I got 13. He goes, I think we should move. I go, we can move. I get in the boat, he's way the heck over there. <laughs> he's still doing it. He's trying to get me to stop so he can beat me. <laughs> I'm not gonna put mine in yet just in case no one believes me, so we'll leave those right there for now. The wind's blowing and I'm honestly freezing. <laughs> well, how many? Probably like seven, I would say. Four. <laughs> Guess how many I got? 20. 27. What? Yeah. <laughs> Where'd you go by? I only went behind the boat. We went in front and there was like... It was so murky. Yeah. Murky. Yeah, it was more murky at this spot. Maybe we can try to find clearer water. How many, Ted? I think I only got 17 this time around. Vic? Oh, I got at least twice that. What? I didn't, I didn't keep Why track. are you the only person who's not counting? I don't know. I got so it. where were you finding most of yours? I didn't find one in front of the boat. All of them were behind the boat. I, I start, only went behind the boat too. I started out behind the boat, did real good, and then I thought, I'll go to the front of the boat. Went to the front, didn't find one. 39. 40. Good wow. job. 40 on this time. Wow. So what's everybody's grand totals? I'm at 61. 21. 22. 16. <laughs> 33. 39 and 49. Okay, so the limit per boat is two is 10 gallons. So this is a five gallon bucket. It's almost full, but we wanna get these babies in the ice because they've been sitting out now for like a couple hours. I mean, when we swim around with them in the bag, they're probably fine, but we wanna get them in ice. So we're gonna pour these into the cooler now.
Well, as we were waiting for dinner last night, we came here to have a couple drinks at this tiki bar and they have this really nice cleaning station. So we decided that we were gonna come back here to clean our scallops today. So we have an assembly line of everybody cleaning the scallops. So we're gonna show you how to clean a scallop. Okay, I am by no means a professional, but if you're right-handed, I was told by someone who cleans these, you take the uh, dark side in your left hand up, right? And then you gotta separate the scalp because it's attached on both sides of the shelf from the top and bottom. And it's pretty intuitive. You just wanna separate it and the whole thing is, is you wanna leave as much of this white scallop meat intact. So you see how there's a little bit there on the shelf. The better you get at it, the less and less meat you're gonna leave. And now what we gotta do is get, remove all these guts. So all these little blue dots right here, those are the eyes that we could see flashing in the water. And um, so we gotta remove that, we gotta remove the guts. And the way I like to do it is I come right here on the back of the shell, I kinda peel the guts up and over the scallop. And then I kinda just remove them. And you just do this, but you gotta be careful because you can easily rip the scallop. So you just tear that off. So now all you're left with is the scallop right there. And then now here's the last tricky part. You gotta kinda angle your knife down, this little Dexter, scallop knife and free the scallop from the shell and obviously I was going a lot slower than we normally would to show you guys but that's it not bad no, it's, where can they find that knife Dexter? we can find them linked below you guys can actually save 20% off all Dexter knives find them linked below use code brook 20 yep use code brook 20 get yourself some great American made knives scallop fish they got you covered for everything how you doing, Jed? Uh, slowly but surely, it's coming along. How about you, Gabby? How are you doing? Good. Um, Fish is just passing me these off and I'm just scraping them in. Hiya. So this scallop, I can feel, is much colder than this one. The longer they're on the ice, they'll actually open up naturally and it makes it so much easier to clean. So when you're coming in from a day of scalloping, you want to get your scallops on ice because if you don't, they're going to be a lot harder to pry open. It's much easier with a half open scalp and you can just feel the difference. This one's super cold. You got anything to say, Dan? Heck yeah, I got something to say. For me, it's not about the technique of using the knife. It's all about the crew. When you got the right crew, you go out and you catch all this delicious stuff and you make that look easy. And then when you get back to the cleaning table, everybody joins in and does their share and it just makes all this cleaning go faster and be more enjoyable so for me it's all about the crew how about you mom i think that sums it up yeah it's pretty awesome all of us standing here working together uh, i had a great day it was awesome <laughs> catching these so much fun can't wait to eat them. So I guess I never really told you guys when we were quitting out there, but we went to like two other spots and the tide kind of switched and it got really murky. Um, so we were gonna try to go to another spot, but it was getting kind of late. So we decided usually cleaning all these takes a while. So we should just quit for the day. Not like we needed to catch our limit, but we still got a bunch, but that little, you, you do a lot of work for this little, for this little tiny like quarter size piece of meat that is oh so delicious so you really want to clean them um, take your time cleaning them so you get all the good stuff there we're taking the shells home i'm going to keep them and make an art project when we get home so i'm actually going to keep all the shells they may smell a little bit for a couple days till we get home but i think it'll be cool when i'm done look this is a full five gallon bucket of scallops and this is what we get the strainer full <laughs> So now we're gonna head home and cook these up for dinner. All right guys, welcome to a brand new kitchen. We have a pan that is nice and hot here with some olive oil. And the first thing we're going in with is some garlic. That's more than some. That's a heaping mountain. Next thing is we're going in with some unoaked Chardonnay. So our wine has been reducing and it's now time to add some chicken stock. And 
then we're gonna add some minced clams as well as the juice that's in there another can of minced clams so next we're going in with some parsley and the zest of one lemon okay, we're adding a stick of butter which may sound like a lot but it's gonna be split between seven people so it's not too bad We're eating every single scallop we caught today, which is 275, so they are all going in. This is definitely will be the most amount of scallops we eat in one sitting. But you know, we worked hard today, so we deserve to eat them all. Scallops do not need a long time to cook. We're just waiting for them to turn white. It's kind of like a shrimp. You don't want to cook it for too long. Now that they're in here, I'm like, wow, that's a lot. <laughs> All right, so our scallops are finished. Look how gorgeous those look. Careful, bro. Heavy! I wonder how many pounds it ended up being. Look how beautiful. I am so excited to eat these. So we're gonna just do like a big scoop. I guess a few big scoops. I think you did a great job, Brickster. Thank you. All right, everybody. <laughs> Dear God, thank you for this beautiful, bountiful meal from the Gulf of Mexico. And thank you especially for this amazing crew that I get to dive with, fish with, and have all these amazing dinners with. I am truly a blessed person, and I feel it. Amen. 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 Who wants to go first? Me. <laughs> <laughs> so this was my first year scalloping. I was really scared just because I've never done anything like this, but it was so much fun. Um, it was shallow, it was competitive, and I was around good teachers. Um, I had a really good time, and obviously the best part is the food. Um, Thank you guys for bringing me on here. That was so nice. That was a good one. <laughs> yeah, that was so nice. That's why she wanted to go first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys always take all my words. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since we've been here and it's just like I remember, like scalping is definitely my personal favorite thing to do. Like when it comes to catching anything or any kind of like activity, especially because you can do it with your family. There's a lot of fun things you could do that maybe not everyone can do, but this is definitely one where, like Gabby, this was her first time and she did very well. Like, you can just come out there and as long as you're with people who kind of guide you in the right direction, like, it's an easy thing to pick up on and it's still super fun. For something to be so easy and still be competitive is pretty, pretty interesting. And like Gabby said, dinner's old, like, the dinner was killer. And uh, yeah, hopefully we, can get back into the groove of going scalping more often because it really is something else. 275 scallops sounds like a lot, but we worked hard and worked up an appetite and we ate all 275 <laughs> scallops and they were delicious. We didn't overcook them. And um, it's funny, when we got here, I'm always trying to gather information at the docks or the cleaning stations, the cleaning tables, I'm always like, frantic to ask questions. Where were you? How deep were you? Did you go north? Did you go south? And everybody was saying, we got 16, we got 20, we got 25, we got 40. No one had a good number. And you would think that would make you nervous, but it didn't. Because I, I had faith in my crew because I don't have an average crew. You know, now I can't do it as good as my crew. I only caught 25 like some of the other people. 
but I got people here to pull my weight that were catching 60 and 50 and 70 and we wound up having a very successful day. So I want to say thank you to all your hard work and uh, I had a great time. I feel the same way. I only caught 22, but I knew everybody else was catching my share. But it was so fun to get back here after so many years. And it still feels the same after we've been gone so long. Um, it was awesome. Um, I'm so glad we could all be together. And the meal we just made and all the scalps we just ate, delicious. It was great. I agree with Fisher. Um, this is probably my favorite thing that we do. It's very relaxed and everyone can do it. Um, and I think more often than not, I just get to enjoy the spoils of Brick and Victor's adventures. And it's nice to be able to actually partake in it and, you know, have a hand in, you know, providing the actual meat for the meal. So, just excited for tomorrow. That's my favorite part too. You guys have just heard it five times in a row, but the fact that everyone is in the water together as a family unit, everyone's catching them. Gabby even cleaned them. We, we all cleaned them. It was just, we had an assembly line going. Bricky was hosing everyone's knives off and getting all the guts in the water. And it was just nice for everyone to be able to, you know, you feel like everyone's involved and everyone's having fun. And at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. You come home, cook a wonderful dinner that Bricky made. It was delicious. And that's all, that's all you can ask for. Well, you heard it from everyone. We hadn't been here in a long time, but we made it happen. And I actually booked this trip like a few months in advance, which for my family is like a really big deal. We are very like last minute people, like planning things the weekend before or a couple days before. So to plan a trip a couple months in advance and it, for, for it to work out, we had basically perfect weather today. It was a little overcast, but like we didn't get caught in any storms, you know, nothing happened to cancel the trip. So I'm just really happy that this ended up happening because we hadn't been here in a long time and it was really great to come back and just remember how much fun this was. We even used to bring our grandma here and she was like 82 when she was doing it or something like that. And I think she did it for like two years or something with us. So even if you're four years old, or you're 82 years old, like everyone can participate in scalloping. It's really fun. It's basically like an Easter egg hunt. So I had a ton of fun with all of my favorite people. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.